tweet of the video. Well, let's have a look. It's one way of telling for certain whether or not Pelosi pushed the child. Simply look at the evidence before your own very eyes. Nancy Pelosi elbow this little girl during a photo op? That's the allegation from newly elected Congresswoman Mayra Flores. <laughs> What she's done there is weakly elbowed away a little child. Flores claims Pelosi tried to shove her young daughter out of the way during her swearing-in ceremony last week. They're an odd, like, skeletal, octogenarian, clumsy bunch running the country at the moment, aren't they? A person who shows his simple notes to the people he's meant to be concealing them from, and a woman who elbows a child at a photo op. Must look like a good, responsible political leader. If I could just get this... Fucking child out the way! Apparently, as she tried to beckon somebody to join the photo. I also imagine that Nancy Pelosi's elbows are quite sharp, like her instinct in trading stocks. The footage at the center of the controversy was recorded at the ceremonial swearing in ceremony Pelosi hosted for Flores on Tuesday. It's a great honor to welcome Congresswoman Flores to the Capitol and to the Congress of the United States with great congratulations, said Pelosi. But her daughter can fuck off. And again, grateful for her leadership and her beautiful family who is here today. What? level of consciousness are you operating on if when you're hosting an event to celebrate the achievement of a newly elected official from the opposing party in a gesture of good grace and apparent democratic solidarity, you don't have the presence of mind not to elbow a child out of the way because it's an infringement on a photo op. That's a revelation of the level that they're operating on. That the presentation of reality is everything and trumps even sort of simple rules that I picked up relatively early in life, like don't elbow children out of a photo frame. This story perfectly illustrates illustrates the problem in American contemporary politics. Everything is theatre. Everything is performance. You have a president who many people think is inept and is reading from a script of handlers. You have a Speaker of the House who can't observe simple politeness and basic protocols of not elbowing a kid in the side to make a photograph in the future look better. Politics has become theatre. It's become devoid of meaning. No wonder people are so cynical, so sceptical. No wonder hot button topics are having to be promoted to the forefront and reframed in order to get people emotional about politics again because I think any American from any political persuasion, from any economic or racial or gender background can see that this is a performance. Nothing real is happening here. And all of those people that felt passionately angry about Trump and passionately triumphant about his removal are now confronted with this spectacle.